The firefighter's pole, the most efficient form of transportation ever created. All the speed of falling with none of the hitting the ground. But why should firefighters have all the fun? Introducing the everyone's pole, the firefighter's pole for everyone. Say goodbye to boring old stairs. The everyone pole adds speed and efficiency to your trip to the dining room, your bedroom, and the bathroom. Uh, somebody in here. So the next time you see a firefighter, tell them you know how good they have it. Just don't tell them where you got it because we basically just took theirs. The everyone's pole. Sure, buildings will burn, but you can get to the living room quicker. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, Hawkeye. You'll never defeat I, Kang the Conqueror. They don't just let anybody call themselves the Conqueror. We'll just see about that. What? Was that a mop? What? No, it, it was a, a trick mop arrow. That was a mop. That was my mop. All right, fine, you got me. I ran out of arrows. Well, then you need to go to Crate and Arrow. Crate and Arrow? What's that? Only the biggest arrow superstore in the tri-state area. Come on, I'll show you. Crate and Arrow, the one-stop shop for the modern archer. Crate and Arrow has all your specialized arrow needs. They've got your explosive arrows, your boomerang arrows, even the classic boxing glove arrow. Remember when you used to use those? Man, hard to imagine how that could fly, let alone be remotely effective. And such low prices. I know, and if you become a member, it's 10% off the already rock bottom prices. All right, where were we? Ha <laughs> ha, Hawkeye, you'll never defeat me. What gives, another mop? Wrong. This time it was a trick mop arrow. I didn't know Crate and Arrow sold that. Kang, Crate and Arrow sells everything. Crate and Arrow. We've got crates and arrows. But the crates are for holding the arrows. We don't sell them, so stop asking. Is it me, or do we spend about 90% of our lives at funerals? I don't know if I'd say 90%. <laughs> I guess you're right. About 80, 90%. Mr. President, I have to get you out of here. Mr. President, are you okay? I'm better than okay. I'm perfect, thanks to the new White House Down Comforter. It's the White House Down Comforter. Mr. President, I don't think you understand the danger. And I don't think you understand the feeling of sleeping on a 3,000 thread count Egyptian cotton. Mr. President, you have to get up. And you have to get down. And by get down, I mean you have to get the White House Down Comforter. For only $499, you'll know what it feels like to sleep on a cloud in a room full of feathers and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Soft mashed potatoes. Uh, okay. Mr. President, if you don't get up now, we'll never get out of here. And if you don't rush to your local department store now, you're going to miss buying the matching White House down pillows for only $49.99 each. Now, Mr. President needs some sleepy time. Oh, come on. Can't you see that? Wow, that is soft. You may have a king-sized bed, but you won't know the luxury of being the president without the White House down comforter. <sighs> is something burning? It's probably nothing. In this corner, Manny the Mauler. <laughs> and in this corner, Bobby the Bruiser. <laughs> All right, it's time to arm wrestle. Yeah, 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 yeah. come on. Ugh, oh, these flights are so expensive. And I can't find a room at any hotel anywhere. Need a hand booking the best deals on your vacation? Oh my gosh, it's a Velociraptor! Help us! Then try Travelociraptor. Stand in line at the airport? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, let me get your tickets. I see you're in coach. I mean first class, you're in first class! I'm sorry, we're completely sold out. For everyone except 75 million year old dinosaurs. And with Travelociraptor, you never have to worry about making reservations. I'm sorry, we only take reservations. Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. 
Travelociraptor. Don't argue. It's a Velociraptor, you dopes. It got so dark so fast. I know. All I can see are those fluorescent marshmallow balls. I'm scared. Blah! And so you should be, children, because I am here to suck your blood. Oh, my back. It's like a stake through my back. Your beef's with Batman, not all bats. Oh, what do you have against bats? Bane. Friend to children, enemy to bats. When I was stranded on an island, I was transformed. I mastered archery, became a superhero, and I got super cool muscles. And now you can too, with Arrowbix, the workout program designed by me, Green Arrow. With my arrow-based exercises, people will be shooting you looks, because you look so good while shooting arrows. Arrowbix. I'll work on your upper arms by having you whittle your own arrows. You'll get buff using my special weightlifting arrows. And we'll keep up a regular boxing routine with my boxing glove arrows. And of course, you'll do it all while stranded on an island. Wait, what was that last part? Good luck! I'll come get you in five years! Watch out for wolves! Or pirates! Or whatever! Arrowbix, if you're not completely satisfied, then I'm sorry I stranded you on an island. Oh no, Snow White ate the poisoned apple. Poisoned apple? <laughs> that's why I'm a PC guy, am I right? <laughs> and that's why you've never heard of Jokey the Eighth Dwarf. Yeah, yeah, what do you got? Looks like a classic homicide. No witnesses, no le- What? Oh, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. I was on my hands-free headset. Oh, I, uh, I thought you were asking about the murder. No, I was on the phone with my baker, asking what cakes he's got. Wait, there's been a murder? Luke Noble is the hands-free detective. He's so confident he'll get the job done, he'll deal with customer service agents at the same time. So how'd the scene look? It was pretty grisly, but there were some pretty revealing clue. Right? Okay, thanks. Sorry, I was talking to my buddy about the concert last night. What are you saying? I was talking about the clues found near the victim. Victim? Oh no, did something happen to someone? He's so talented, he can constantly multitask. What about Friday night, huh? What can you tell me about Friday night at 7 p.m.? All right, all right, I did it! You caught me! Huh? No, no, I'm trying to get movie tickets, but everything's sold out. Oh, I thought you were charging me with murder. Excuse me, I'm on the phone. Get out of here! Midnight? Yeah, fine, fine, I'll take the midnight showing. The hands-free detective. He's kind of a jerk, really. Well, this is a fine mess you've gotten us into. Why did you think going to the beach was a good idea? It just seems silly that we live so close to it, and yet we've never been. Well, now we know why, don't we? Hang on, maybe these kids will help. Look, a beached whale! Let's bury it in the sand up to its neck. Next year, we're taking a cruise. You've seen Man of Steel, now see Man of Surreal. My son was in the bus. He saw what Clark did. He melted into diamonds. How do you find someone who has spent a lifetime covering his tracks? And when you're out in the desert surrounded by melting clocks. You believe your son is safe? I will find. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. It's a snake. Made of trees. Man of Surreal. Wow. That was nuts. There's a snake in my boot. There's a scorpion in my boot. Ooh, I found five dollars. Well, isn't that just great for you? Two fairies of the Old West. Took him a while to get it right. I thought you said you could fix a flat tire. I said I could change a flat tire. Usually into something else, like a rabbit or a bird. Why don't you just change it into a tire that works? Because that shows no use of imagination. I would be laughed out of the Magician's Guild. I think it's a little late for that. <laughs> Maybe you should trade in your magic wand for a car jack. Come with us, honey. That was the worst excuse I ever used to get out of a date. I'm not proud.
Batman's got the Batcave, and Iron Man has Stark Tower. But here are some less impressive superhero layers. The garage where Spider-Man parks the Spider-Mobile. I never even use it. I mean, who needs a car in New York? I should probably sell it, but that's a whole hassle. Anyway, I keep it here. The closet where Hulk keeps his purple shorts. Hulk needs lots of pairs because they're stretchy, but everything has limits. Blue Beetle's bedroom in his parents' house. Yep, that's about it. Not much more to tell. Wolverine's Wolverine Burrow. Wolverine's live in burrows. Want to fight about it? And the Ninja Turtle's gross sewer. Our sewer lair isn't gross. It's cool. Sure, whatever you need to tell yourself to get through the day. This has been Less Impressive Superhero Layers. All right, which one of you cut the cheese? Don't look at me. I didn't do it. I know it was one of you. Then I'm going to find out who it was. Then when I do, you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. Honey, can you pick up some more cheese? Yep. Want to go for a ride? Yay! It was the mom. And now it's time for What If They Had Cell Phones, Movie Edition. Home Alone. Ah! Oh, wait. Mom, you left me home. Come back. Also, house being broken into. Call 911. Mary Poppins. Hello, children. I'm here about the nanny job. Position's been filled. We posted it and already got over a thousand responses. Lousy slow umbrella. And E.T., the extraterrestrial. E.T., phone, ho. Oh, oh, thank you. Hey, you left me on Earth. Come back. Also, the Earth is being rubbed. Call 911. This has been What If They Had Cell Phones, movie edition. Time for lunch, honey. What kind of bread would you like your sandwich on? Wheat? Wonder Woman bread! Uh, I don't think that bread exists. It does now. Wonder Woman bread, the bread that gives you all the powers of me, Wonder Woman. Baked by goddesses on Paradise Island, Wonder Woman bread has the strength of Hercules, the wisdom of Athena, and the high fructose corn syrup of cake. Plus, like my magic lasso, Wonder Woman bread makes you tell the truth. This tastes awful. <laughs> that slice must be defective. Maybe you're allergic to gluten. Wonder Woman bread, look for it in the bread aisle. But look hard, because like my jet, it's invisible. I don't know why we made it invisible. That was just bad marketing. Scalpel. Bandage. Suspenders. The Mona Lisa. Milk. Skim. The autograph of every cast member from the show Nashville, but on an 8x10 glossy of the cast of Modern Family. Congratulations! You just proved you're the nurse of the year! Is there anything you can't do? Uh, let's get out of here. Bad idea number 100, juice boxing gloves. Hey, you got juice all over me! The winner by a TKOJ! And that's it, folks. That's Bad Idea, Inc.'s 100th Bad Idea. Hooray! Uh, hi. I'm Gemma from Marketing. I, I have a question. Shoot! Nothing can bum me out today. Well, I was thinking, why do we only make bad ideas? Huh. I never thought about that. I guess when I inherited this company from my father, I just kept making bad ideas. Same as my father and his father and his father's baboon, who founded this company. Well, over in marketing, we've been thinking, what if we made good ideas? You know what, Gemma? You're right. From now on, we only make good ideas. Hooray! Well, turns out there already were lots of companies making good ideas. So now we're bankrupt. I hope you're happy, Gemma. Bad idea number 101, Good Ideas, Inc. As Americans, keeping track of the British royal family can be tough. That's why Matt is here to help. It's Matt's guide to the royal family. Just remember the queen's mother was the queen mother, as opposed to the queen who is a mother. Her husband, her sons, and her grandsons are all princes, but she's only married to one of them. 
Prince William will be the Prince of Wales, making his brother the Duke of Dolphins. Also, when Charles is made king, he'll get a magic sword. We think. Anyway, repeat all that to the next Brit you meet, and we promise it'll go well. What's that sound? We have to get to the roof. This summer. But there's so many of them. Get ready. Go, go, get in the helicopter. For World War DBZ. Yesterday, people started turning into monkey tail karate monsters. The plague shows no sign of stopping. Is there anything I can do? I don't see what. Over 8% of the world is infected. They're evolving from Super Saiyans to Super Saiyan 2s, even 3s, I hear. Sir, they've started doing a funny little dance and are merging into bigger Saiyans. It's all so complicated and stupid. I just wanted to stop. I know, we all do. World War Dragon Ball Z. Because keeping track of Dragon Ball Z is like a war against your brain.